building trading bots with OpenAI and ChatGPT has literally broke my mind. I've been coding trading bots for the last few years and I'm just a regular trader like yourself that decided to start building bots and algorithms because I knew I could remove all emotion and emotion is what got in the way of my trading success. Now, I know you might be thinking, well, it's easy to say automate your strategy and you'll be a much better trader, but how do you actually do it? You have to learn how to code and all that stuff. I didn't go to school for coding. Well, me neither. I didn't get a degree as an engineer or a coder. I never took classes before thinking, hey, I should automate things. So as a regular, regular dude, just like you, if I can do it, you can do it. We all learned how to trade at one point and trading was not easy. Reading these candlestick charts was not easy. But over time, you learn. So just watch a bunch of videos, you know, stick around here and I'll show you how to 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 code so you can build bots. And now with ChatGPT and OpenAI, it just got so much easier. Look at this. We just went through and I told it to build some stuff for me and it just coded it for me. So with a little bit of studying, if I had this when I first got started building algos, I would be 10 times further. Look at all this code it wrote for me. So let's just dive in and keep building what we're building. We're actually building a mean reversion bot right now. As you can see, I have a ton of different algos I'm gonna be building over the course of the next few days, weeks, and in 2023 in general. And this is the one we're starting with, is the mean reversion algo. And then I'm gonna add some machine learning to it. So OpenAI and ChatGPT can pretty much do all that for me. Now, if you're totally lost on where to go from here, let's just jump into ChatGPT and start writing code because we got to this point where, let's go ahead and just print out the things that we wanna see. Let's print DF. We got to this point where ChatGPT essentially built as a data frame of all of the data over the course of a, a long period. So you can see this is all the data for the last, these are 15 minute periods and we're building a mean reversion bot that will essentially look for a change from the mean and then trade back to the mean. So as you can see here, we're using a 3% stop loss five percent profit target and when it trades two percent from the mean we try to enter so let's go ahead and throw in this code and see what it can do because where we stopped in the last video it was getting stuck and i want to say using this code figure out what the Figure out if we are in position or not for UBTC USD. For the pair, we are trading UBTC USD. And then I'll give it the code because it gave me this code. Well, I made some tweaks to it. To determine if you are currently in position at UBTC you, on Femex using fetch balance method and the provided params dictionary, you can use the following code. So, okay, so we use the params equals params and then UBTC. Okay, let's try that. Params equals params and then let's say BTC and let's see if that prints it out. Because that's all it did, it just changed that. Okay, so it says key error again. So. As you can see, it's powerful, but there are some times that we have to kind of tweak things. So let's go ahead and just figure out if we're in position. If position size equals zero, we could do that. So let's just grab this code here because this actually gets exactly what we need. So, you know, while ChatGPT wrote all this code here, there are a couple times that we need to just just do it by ourselves. And if you don't know how to code, don't worry about it. I, you know, I can teach you. I teach you everything in the Algo Trade Camp. Uh, it's a 14-day boot camp that shows you step-by-step -step exactly how to build 
any algorithm you want. And then I also give you seven full trading algorithms. They're all described here. There should be a link for this below. And there's 100% money back guarantee. So there's really no risk. And the reward is being able to automate your trading, which in my opinion, is pretty dope. So let's go ahead and paste this in because this will get our, our balance and then it will say from dictionary, we want the position size of the symbol and the symbol equals pair because that's what chat GPT was saying our symbol was and then position size is float. And then if balance, let's say if position size, position size does not equal zero, does not equal zero, then position equals true, else position equals false. So let's go ahead and say, I should, you know, I'm looking at my Femax account, I do have an open position from a market maker that we built a few videos back. So if that's the case, this last thing should print out true. And there it is, it says true. So we can just keep on building. So using this code, let's just keep on building here. So let's go up here to this part. And this is all created by ChatGPT. Continue continue coding the bot starting at this code below. So it gave me all that code. I'm just gonna say continue coding starting at that. So if position connected, okay, interesting. So I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. That, that kind of bugs me that it makes me go all the way through again. because it's just time consuming, right? Like if it could just start where it ended, that'd be great. But this is pretty amazing to see, right? It's writing all this code and it's all pretty good. You know, there are a couple tweaks that we have to make. Calculate the average price over the, the number of bars. Did we get that? Yes, we did right here, tail, average price. And it gets the tail, the number of bars that we want. So over the last 200 bars. Keep coding. So we already got the imposition. It's so weird that it does that though. That That is, that's frustrating to me. Because I said keep coding and you can see it stopped right here. Maybe I need to just hit a different button or something. If you know how to work that, please do let me know because I want to use this as much as possible because it takes out uh, just like brain thinking time for me. And the less I have to think, the more I can conserve my brain for bigger problems when it comes to coding. And I'm just going to click regenerate response. Okay, perfect, to continue the code. It, it missed a part, in my opinion, it missed the rest of this, but we don't need that. Calculate the profit loss. Okay, so this is the closing threshold. Let's say calculate, calculate the profit loss with 5X leverage. And we'll use 5X leverage. So let's go up here, say leverage equals five. And 
and that's that's it. That's pretty simple. I could have done that on my own, but I'm gonna call this leverage. So this is the exit. This is how we exit the position. Please code. Please recode the entry. The entering of a position part. Let's see if it can understand that. It's pretty amazing. To recode the part where it enters a position when trading the UBTC fair, blah, 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 blah. Set the leverage. Okay. Leverage is five. Calculate the size. Okay. So this is perfect. This is where we're at. So, calculate the size of the position based on the balance, position size. If current price is under average price times one minus buy threshold. Okay, that's interesting. Create order buy. Recreate the entry so it goes long and short because I want it to go long and short. So let's go ahead and say entry of order here. And then let's do the say, say the same thing, but exit, exit of order. Let's see what it's written for us. Okay, but it forgot the one part that I needed. So it's smart, but not that smart. I mean, it's very smart. Like I, now I'm giving it a hard time for no reason. So recode the entry above, but only if we are not in position in a BTC position. And I'll just be super specific here. UBTC USD position. To recode the part of the, the enters long and short positions when trading the UBTC position, only if you are in position. Okay, perfect. So now it's doing the thing. And you know, this part didn't seem to work for me, but that's okay. Position size, if balance, okay, so if balance equals zero, and I'm just gonna say, if in position, or what's that say? If position equals false, and that's pretty much the equivalent to what they're saying. They're saying if balance of U is equals zero, then we'll set the leverage. And I've already set the leverage, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and just paste this in. I think this should work. Okay, let's read through it. So entry of orders, if position equals false, meaning we are not in position, then we set the leverage to five. And this doesn't really set the leverage on, add in a, add in setting the leverage on Femex with CCXT. So that actually doesn't set the leverage. This is just a variable assuming, but we want to make sure that it actually sets the leverage. Leverage equals five, calculate the size. Okay, yada, yada, size, size, same thing. Leverage, param, okay, leverage equals leverage. Okay, so we're just gonna pass in a parameter then. Set the leverage, param, and we'll just do that. And now this code here, position size divide. Okay, this is all of that. Perfect. So you can see this is pretty powerful, right? I know I go keep going back and forth, like if it's if it's whack or if it's powerful. I'm not quite sure yet, but I'm starting to think it's powerful. And I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but I'm working on improving this model. It, and it's actually a better model. That they have I don't think they use their best of model here but look at this so now we have the params 
if price is lower than current price minus buy threshold. So essentially, this, our buy threshold, if we go up to it, our buy threshold is 2%. So if it deviates 2% from the mean, and the average price is the mean, and it did all this for us, it got the average price for us, and then it decided to code it like this, which is much different than I would have. And that's what's so fancy about this, in my opinion, is that it helps you think. You know, it gives you different ideas and different ways to, to do this. Now let's go ahead and, so if position equals false, else, no trade necessary, because position is, because we're in, in position, because we are in position. Checking if time to exit. So I'm just adding in some feedback here. Still, this is all pretty much done by ChatGPT. And let's do the exit. Now we have the exit somewhere here. The entering, leverage, where did I see? I thought we asked it. Please recode, please recode, add in a setting. Please code the exit of the trade to, I'm pretty sure, to act, to code the exit of the trade. And that's what I love about chat, BTT, chat GPT is that it remembers everything. So we need that profit. That's where it was. Okay, so it's checking our profit and loss. If balance of use is over zero. Else set the leverage, and this is the position size. Create if current price. Oh, interesting. So it is can it's doing hmm. Did it just disappear? Oh, interesting. When you hit regenerate, it regenerates the response in the place of the old response. So that's kind of interesting. Well, I think what we're going to do, because we have done a quite a bit here, is we're going to go ahead and finish up the exit order probably in a following video. So make sure to stick around if you do want to see the rest of this bot. Essentially, this is a mean reversion bot built by ChatGPT, and it's kind of mind blowing to me. So. I can't wait to finish this up. I, I can't believe that it's written all of this code for us. And in the next video, we'll, we'll start uh, testing it after we implement the exit order. And in the meantime, if any of this is not making sense to you, I highly recommend joining the Algo Trade Camp. You get step-by-step -step videos showing you exactly how to Algo Trade. And, you know, just be confident in yourself that you don't, you didn't need to go to school for this. You can still, you can still excel without going to college for trading, uh, trading or coding. You know, I have so many coders that went to college and got their masters. They're like, dang, I wish I would have just spent that time just focusing on the specific use case that I was coding for. Because they learned so much theory and all that. In my Algo Trade Camp, it's a 100% money back guarantee. You learn step by step exactly how to Algo Trade and how to code in order to algo trade. And then you get seven of my out trading algorithms with step-by-step -step videos with them. So 
Um, it's 100% money back, no questions asked, guarantee. So there is no risk. Just jump in, try it out, and I'll see you in the next video.